This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Number 197. I'm Jason. I'm Jeff. Yay! And I'm Jim. Hey! That would be my my brother. That would be your brother. Uh, There has been a Blake sighting. He is in the building. We are scared, but he is in the building. He's actually talking to uh, Dev, Chris, Kevin, and Scab Jeff. So we should be recording that. Uh, discussion, not ours. I'm a little scared by that because I think Dev's going to hit him. Because I don't think he's—he's he's going to think he's a uh, artificial robot, intelligence robot. And I think that's going to be the downfall. I think so. He's going to try to take him back like Westworld. He's going to be highly disappointed when he thinks of intelligent robot. That's true. <laughs> he's just a robot. He's just a robot. <laughs> <laughs> he's like uh, the rob- Rosie on Jetsons. All he can do is clean. <laughs> that's all he can do. Sorry. Is there anything that. such thing as artificial? Un- Intelligence. I'm sure there is now. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen. I've seen Gotham. Yeah, I think so. He's AU. Yeah. <laughs> Everything on Gotham is AU. <laughs> Sorry. We're not going to do Batman. Oh, well, yeah. I guess we're doing Batman. <laughs> we're not doing. We're not doing anything with him going away. And oh, we are. Damn it. <laughs> this is not about every villain in the DC universe. Yes, it is. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, it is. It's not good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so Jim's going to sit with us here. Can um, we ask him, do you have an up-down? You have an up-down this week? I do not have an up-down this week. I, okay. Uh, we, we get it from the same place. You ask us, and we're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no up-down this week. My up is uh, since I Comic Expo still. My down this week is I would like to have more people, women, be more than just Catwoman, Harley Quinn, or Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. They're cosplayers. Let's do something different, people. Come on. I saw some Gamoras. That was good. That was good. That was good. Uh, my three and a half year old daughter really likes Gamora. She saw him for. She saw her for a couple minutes. She's like, I like her. And then she starts kicking ass, and she's like, I really like her. I was like, Well done. Well done. My forty, uh, like five five year old brother really likes Gamora too. Well, that's true. <laughs> I haven't met him. Where is he? <laughs> Uh, we got an air compressor in the background. I love that. <laughs> what are they building back there? Are they repairing the Millennium Falcon? Because I don't know. It's been going on all day. I think they're just blowing up balloons. Oh, there's some Mylar balloons. <laughs> you know what? There you go. Okay. Well, I got some listener feedback. I was going to ask you a question here. All right. Uh, Michael Leal. Ooh. He wants to know, MFK, Captain Kirk, Captain Picard, Captain Sisko. Oh. Yep. Picard, Kirk, and Sisko. Yeah. Who's Sisko? The rapper? No, Captain Sisko from Deep Space Nine. Is that the female? No. Oh. Is that Worf? No. It's uh, Avery Brooks played. Oh, okay. I got you now. Okay. I got you. I think he's done some comic books, too. He wrote some comic books. It's possible. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say yes until we're proven wrong. Okay, Jim, who are you going with? Uh, which one's Scott? Which one's Scott Baculus, Captain? He wasn't asked. Archer is who he does. But. Well, Mary Archer. <laughs> I like how you're going outside the rules. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I'm hoping that shit. I like it. I like it. 
Uh, let's see. I would probably uh, if those three. I should say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, then he's going to F Janeway and, uh, <laughs> yep. and kill uh, whatever uh, uh, Jason Isaac's character is. Is that how that's going to He hasn't even been shown yet. <laughs> Jason Isaac's here. <laughs> he I is. would actually marry Picard. He's by far the most lovable. Uh, you could have good conversations with him, yeah. too. And, and, and the boys, you can wake up every morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hello, handsome. Oh, wow, well, hello, Picard. Okay, so I'm... Meet me in the bedroom. Ooh. <laughs> me, and Jim, <laughs> oh. <laughs> me and Jim are marrying Picard. Uh, Is he an option? Yes. Yeah, okay, Picard. good, okay. Uh, oh, oh, I would probably I would probably have to F uh, uh, Kirk because he took his shirt off a few times in the uh, show, and he was quite dreamy. Yeah, but if you kill Avery, I feel like this is not going to be good. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to um, I'm going to F Avery. He's a good-looking man. Okay. And kill Kirk. He doesn't have much time left anyways. All right. Well, I mean, that's like a mercy. I think I'm going to pick marrying Cisco. Okay. And I will kill Picard. Oh. No. And I will F the Chris Pine version oh. of Kirk. He does have he does have abs. He does have abs. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. That's a good one. I like that. I, I, I like that. I, I think I, I really think you gotta go with Shatner. <laughs> Didn't say Shatner. <laughs> it just said Kirk. <laughs> I just want to know how he sounds like in the bedroom. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, make it so, Picard. <laughs> Although I that do my own fame <laughs> fiction. <laughs> I did see a robot chicken last night as I was uh, falling off. Like an street. actual robot chicken, like a robot Blake? No, no, no. Oh. Like, like the television show Robot Chicken. Okay. Where they showed what happens when... Uh, wow, that was loud. <laughs> when uh, well, Shatner goes to sleep. He goes to sleep and his hair detaches from him and gets called in to do a secret mission and fly to France and kill all the bad guys and then come home get a medal then climb back on uh, Shatner's head and then he wakes up with a medal attached to his head he opens his drawer and throws it in with a bunch of others where do they keep coming from? (laughs) There is a guy dressed as Weapon X which is impressive Unfortunately, he's also not wearing shoes or socks. Oh, and that's your pet peeve. We talked about this a couple episodes against Ultimate Fighting. I can't be a UFC fighter just because of the feet thing. I, I, I can't get in there. That I would die. But uh, more importantly, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. I know your turtle defense is, is world-renowned. Turtle defense is when I fall on my back and just start kicking. <laughs> Nobody can stop it. It's an impressive thing. Uh, let's see, Big Sonic Geek does want to know, he has a question. Uh, how much is Jason charging for autographs? Um, since no one's asked yet, I don't think we found out. 12 IOUs. 12 IOUs. 12 IOUs. Yes, yes. Uh, we have sold uh, sh- uh, the shirt for charity. Uh, we've had uh, buy to so appreciate that. Uh, to the disabled American veterans. Yes. Uh, we're down to small, medium, and large. So there you go. Um, so we would love to help you out, fat people. Is that Flint next to us? Flint. Uh, We're at the G.I. Joe booth here. We're recording live inside Comic Flint. Expo. What's that? So it's a bearded Flint. I do like it. Oh, there's Weapon X. Yes, no shoes. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no shoes. It's scaring me. It's scaring me. <laughs> Uh, also, just to let you know, uh, we're on nerdly.co.uk. Good day, mate. Tangent Bound Network. WeBeGeeksPC.com. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I have to look. The What's guy, right? guy dressed as Waldo walked by and his sign said, Nobody ever asks Al's Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. That is. Look at that one. Look at that Stormtrooper and Ray. There we go. Are they allowed to be buddies? I don't know. <laughs> That, that has got to be burning up in there, right? It's got to be hot. I would think so. I don't know. If I'm going to cosplay, I'm not putting a, a helmet on. 
They talked about Luke being too short to be a stormtrooper. That guy was too fat to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> No such thing. <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, they've really let the requirements down since uh, they've had two Death Stars and a planet blow up. Uh, they really aren't, they're like the Gotham PD. They will take anybody. How many people are, again, like we've talked about, Gotham PD has, it's been six days since we've had a casualty. So, well done, Gotham PD. <laughs> hey, people flocking to sign up for that job. <laughs> it's, it's that and to become a red shirt on Star Trek. Ooh, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. At least with Gotham, there's a lot of them, so maybe you will get missed. Uh, Jim, are you going by a mystery box? Uh, my niece bought one. $32. What what she get in it? Uh, trinket? Uh, no, but uh, I'm, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't <laughs> talk about a drinking cup. I don't know what design was on it. A stuffed animal head. There Just was, a head? Yeah. There was a. <laughs> yeah, I hope I get the body. <laughs> a Powerpuff Girl mask. Uh, that Doug's going to use later. He said. I think it was uh, bubbles. The blonde one, if you remember. The monkey from Michael Jackson. No, the Powerpuff Girl. Oh, okay. They're Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup. Come on, Jason. I don't know Powerpuff. You should. I never watched it. I never watched it. You should have. Eh. I don't know about that. Uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, uh, I got listener feedback question from Randall Holt. Okay. He wants to know, you're enjoying a soft pretzel. Ooh. Does it include cheese dip or mustard? That's a tough call. My answer is no, it does not. Yes, it does. It does not include cheese dip or mustard. Beer cheese. Beer cheese is a good one. I had that last night uh, at uh, the Moorline restaurant we went to. You did? Yeah, I think I think but so. If I'm enjoying a soft pretzel, it's covered in cinnamon and sugar. Ugh. Really? On purpose? Yeah, on purpose. There's uh, nothing that cinnamon and sugar doesn't make better. I don't that know. was the only spice mom used in cooking growing up. <laughs> My mom used burnt. <laughs> was that spice? <laughs> well, I'll give you that one. <laughs> it wasn't our mom. Our dad used to char everything. <laughs> well, he won't get salmonella. <laughs> You know, <laughs> pardon me, there was like a 16 or 15 year old uh, kid that walked by and he had an RPD shirt, uh, vest and uh, uh, police outfit on. And I thought for a second, oh my god, he has an RIPD. RIPD. Nobody <laughs> has that movie. You're like, who dresses that? <laughs> no, it isn't. It was from Raccoon from uh, uh, the Resident Evil. Damn it! Oh, okay. I was hoping for a Jeff Bridges RIPD one day. <laughs> At least a Ryan Reynolds. It's a shame that movie didn't do better. I didn't see it. Oh, it was bad. It was not good. I got a free HBO weekend like two years ago and taped it. It was not good. I got through, I think, like an hour. That was about it. So, uh, so Je uh, Jeff, you're going with cinnamon on yours? Cinnamon and sugar. I'm going with the beer cheese. Uh, if that's not available, I'll take mustard. I'll take mustard. Do we love some mustard. Mm. Randall has hashtag no mustard. Well, he is wrong. Jeff? We got some Nick Albright question. Can we do this with Blake at my Well, you know what? Blake's drinking, so I'm going to do this. You ready? Do we need to find sexy music? No. <laughs> uh, are you going to read it in a sexy voice? Yes. Yes. Let's see. Jeff. Jeffy. Just like G.I. Joe next to us in the booth. I feel a little creepy now saying it with people around me. Uh, was, I wanted to see how you would do it. Yep. You give rise to my cobra. Want to sit on my lap? Hashtag let's see what pops up. Oh, yeah. You can be my mind bender. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, I'll barbecue your lips. It's apt since we're right next to the G.I. Joe cosplay here yes. next to us. Um, love y'all, Nick, but... Uh, I think I might decline the lap sitting. Oh, we got more coming. More questions in the next couple of weeks about uh, G.I. Joe and Jeff. Ooh. You ever look at some of the cosplayers and wonder what they are? I don't know. I don't know some of them. Well, that person's not actually dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to think about some of those. Go, uh, Joe! Go, Hail Cobra! Ah! 
I almost got you that one. I, I almost got screwed up on that one. I like that. I like that. Are they from Sorority Boys? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Sorority Boys. I love that movie. Uh, I think the green uh, mandolin, mandolarian, uh, Boba Fett guy, he has walked past our booth a couple of times. I'm kind of intrigued to ask him some questions next time. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. We'll, we'll see if he walks by again. Oh, there's, uh, there's a lady there with some Pennywise makeup on. I have not seen. There's Joey. He's a fan. He's Woo, got Joey! He's waving nuts in He's got face. nuts. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, I'm actually surprised by the lack of Pennywise. There will be a lot more, you're right. I think next year there will be. I think next year there will be. Uh, they all got arrested outside because of the uh, cl- uh, clown scare last year. Uh, the cops are on high alert. I can see that. Have you seen it? Not yet. Okay. I need to. I'm I've still... just been hanging red balloons by a... Uh, <laughs> by <Sewer sewers>. <laughs> The best is that was happening in Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah, I could see how Pittsburgh would be as scary as Derry. <laughs> I don't think you need tying balloons to say Pittsburgh's scary. Just saying. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Dip Man. Uh, well, before we get to that, Jim, we ask every guest on this. Favorite type of donut? Uh, Not brand, type. type. I would go like uh, jelly or uh, Boston cream filled. Good man. Everybody's going Boston cream or jelly filled. No glazed. Nobody's got glazed it's yet. It's boring. It is boring. Yeah. yeah. I actually, I'd rather have a cake donut than a glazed donut. Oh. How about the double chocolate, like the chocolate donut and fudge on top? That might be too much chocolate. I, is there really such a thing? I'm, I'm not a chocolate fan, though. As a child, I didn't think so, but as an adult, uh, I think you can over-chocolate things. The doctor says the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, dark chocolate is good for you. Wow, well, once you go chocolate. Anyways, um, the dead man has some questions based on that. Are fritters or Danish in the same category as donuts? Um, yes. You think? Well, same cat. If you say what's your favorite donut, I don't think fritter or Danish is the answer. But you can. But they're pastries. Okay. So I put them in the same category. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, from Professor Number One. Wrap up listener feedback here. Unless Jeff finds any more. Yeah. Greatest combination of the four horsemen. The four horsemen. So my question on this mm-hmm. is do they have to be a combination that existed? Or can you pick and choose? Or can I pick and choose? No, I think you can pick and choose. Okay. Well, yeah, I think it could be better, but I'm going to go. All right, because, well, you got to have flair and you got to have art. Those two. You got flair. I agree with that. I agree with that. And then I think I would go with Paul Roma. Nope. Okay. I would go with Tully Michael Blanchard. McMichael. Nope. <laughs> I would go with Tully Blanchard. And then I would go with uh, Chris Benoit. Because when Benoit was in there, I didn't like any of the fourth. It was either Mongo or I don't even. I think you have to pick Benoit because then he won't murder his family because he has a purpose. Oh come on. No, never too soon. Uh, I blame the ETC. Hmm. Let's see. I, I do like I do like Flair. How about Ole Anderson? Well, Ole would be in there if I wasn't putting Ben on. How How about um? What do you call it? Um, Jeff Jarrett. No, like I said, any anybody who else was in there with, when Benoit was, besides Arn and Flair, were terrible. Dean Malenko? Did he make the Four Horsemen? I thought he was there for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just Dad, a get joke. Get out of here. Get out of here, Doug. <laughs> here, let me help you out here. Let me switch you over. What are we talking? Greatest Four Horsemen. Who are you picking? There we go. Who are you picking? Flair. Arn Anderson. Of course. Uh, Lex Luger is in there. Sting. Both sucked as four horses. No, unfortunately, I think the original is the best. Okay. Barry Windham. Nope. But I was a fan of Ben Wall. I know yeah. that's what he was saying. But, yeah, the original has to be the best. We got Hawkman and Hawkman. I agree with Doug. The, the original. Minnesota Wrecking Crew. Arn and Okay. 
Tully. Did we say McMichael? Did you say McMichael? I already said Mongo, and Jeff shot it down right away. Oh, so well. that's not even on the table. I, I'm a... Uh, I don't know. Who about Nikita Koloff? Was he one of them? No. No. Now you know you're just making, throwing out wrestlers' names, hoping they might have been part of <laughs> Big it. Boss Man? <laughs> was Vincent? 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 No, Vincent was not. Uh, was Dolph? I, I'll vote for Dolph. You know what? Here we go. I'll, I'll do this. I'm going Flair, Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, and Sid Vicious. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sid might be the second worst. No, he's an enforcer. Oh, Arn is the enforcer. Arn Anderson and Tully are the tag team. When Arn Anderson is there, I mean, his nickname was the enforcer. <laughs> so you I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, I don't get it. I'm about to say you can you can go the originals or you can replace one of them with Benoit. Those are the only options. Uh, Doug, were you at the panels? Yes. Which one were you at? Uh, just came from Brett Iwin, the voice of Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah. I had to leave Wallace Shawn's early. To make Brett Iwins? Or Wallace Shawn just pissed you off? What? <laughs> was, it be, was it because of... You said inconceivable too many times they kicked you out? <laughs> I was there for about 40 minutes. They just mentioned the Princess Bride in passing. It was, what? It was more... Did they ask us to talk about my dinner with Andre? No, it was more about his acting, you know, his... The way he prepares... And stuff like that. It really wasn't. So not specifics. No, no. I mean, it was. Yeah, it was kind of kind of weak. So how does he prepare? Because I mean, he doesn't. I, I was. He doesn't. <laughs> I saw Clueless. He was the teacher in Clueless. He, he said, you know, some uh, so, some actors do. have like notebooks and they'll they'll you know why the, their character's doing this, their history, and what they've done right before their first line. He doesn't do any of that. He just shows up and reads it. Well, I agree. That's At least he's honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm also saying, though, how in-depth the characters did he... Hey, did, hey, did hey, most hey. Of you know? Well, yeah. I mean, when, when his deep... Well, outside of my dinner with Andre, which is his best of all time, <laughs> his deepest character is Toy Story. Yes. Yes. Is he in all of them? Yes. Okay. Is Rex in all of them? Yes. Okay. And, and, and Michael Baldwin from oh. Fox 19 came, came uh, he was doing the interview, and he kept mentioning he was in Monsters, Inc. Oh. And I, I'm thinking, I don't remember him there, so I IMDb'd him, and he played the part of Rex in some outtakes. I'm like, really? That's oh. what you're going to mention? <laughs> That's what you're going to mention? But, okay. okay yeah, was the... Okay, the outtakes. How, how was the voice of Mickey? It was very interesting. Okay. Uh, I saw John Ratzenberger earlier in the day. He he was good. Okay. He was he was very friendly and you know. Did he talked about Cheers. Yes, yes, he did. Did he give you any tips as a postman what to do? Hang out at a bar, apparently. Oh, okay. Okay. But apparently, on the last Cheers, that that everybody was drinking, and then afterwards they were going to be on Leno. He knew they were going to be on Leno, so he didn't drink. So he was the only sober one when they were on Leno. <laughs> they were all drunk, and yes. I remember that. Yes, he said he was the only one not. Did, did he talk about the great Cheers episode when he was on Jeopardy? Did he talk about Cheers uh, on Jeopardy? They kind of mentioned that. And that was a good one. They didn't really stay too much on it, but they, but they did mention it, yes. Did they, they obviously, someone's attacking Oh, somebody's done. Hell, Cobra! <laughs> so they uh, obviously uh, discussed the, the Pixar work he's done. Yeah, they, yeah, they touched on his favorite. His favorite character was P.T. Flea from A Bug's Life. Oh, great choice! I yeah. do like that. A Bug's yeah. Life, well, probably the most underrated of the Pixar movies. Yeah, I guess he said at at the uh, Pixar Studios. They have a Bugs Life day, I guess, because they think it's so underrated. Yeah. They have to give it a little uh, publicity. Give it some love. Yeah. Do we have John Cena on the house? I'm so the waiting for John Cena to come busting through the back of this. <laughs> I think that boot is going to get knocked out because of John Cena. I take it that's John Cena music? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is now a car uh, music, too, like uh, selling a car. Did you see that, Jim? Yeah. Good for John Cena. Uh, 
I feel like the most underrated Pixar one is uh, Don, uh, the uh, Good, Good Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Oh, yeah. yeah. You hated that one. Yes, I did. With a passion. Never saw it. you never seen it? No. Not really need to. Would you oh, say, I saw it. She liked it. Would you say it's better or worse than Cars 2? Better? I guess. <laughs> Hi, Scam Jeff. <laughs> Scam Jeff is here. It's, it's, it's uh, the best uh, uh, thing that I've written on a book when I signed it. <laughs> I, I signed it out to him. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Je- Jeff. Yeah. Go fuck yourself for all I care, Jeff Morris. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to buy his book, Titanic, the zombies, the true story of the Titanic, please go to Amazon. It's the uh, male erotica version. It's not even the title. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <fine>. it's <laughs> zombies, the true story of the Titanic disaster. Exactly. It's in the male erotica section of Amazon, and we're not kidding. Uh, if you buy it and send it to us, Jeff, Scab Jeff will actually sign it. I really have to pee, so I'm going to leave. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Scam Jeff. I'll try and promote your book. <laughs> See if we do that again. There's another fan. How you doing, guys? we Sleeveless Jones. <laughs> Not a lot of people here. Sleeveless Jones, would you like to do trivia? Doesn't matter if you're good at it or not. Would you like to do some trivia? Star Wars, Disney, come on, you can do it. Okay. Okay, we got Harry Potter here for trivia, and he wants to do Star Wars trivia. That's irony. 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 Okay, you ready? Here we go. Okay. What is carried in a Wookiee ammo halter? Chewbacca's little thing. Well, uh, hardest. I'll give you some options. Pellets, throwing knives, poisonous spikes, blaster gas cartridges. You are correct. You are correct. Blaster gas cartridges. That's one. Okay. Oh. Speak into that there. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. And don't be afraid to be loud. That's what I do. So... Uh, I'm going with here. How many fingers do Polis Masonis have on each hand? What the hell's a Polis Masonis? Is that, that what it says? Yes. Polis Masonis. Polis Masonis. Do you know what they are? No, I don't know what they okay. are. Is that a Polis? Three, two, four, five. Three. Keep going. Four. There you go. Four. There you go. That way. <laughs> Dear God, what is this question? Nobody knows what it is. Where did Chewbacca find a troubled C-3PO in Cloud City? Platform 327? In the droid cleansing center? In a junk pile? On a mining belt? You can reach out for help, too. Where did he find him? He was in pieces, remind you. What do you think? Jim, would you like to help? Jim, you can reach out to a friend. I feel like it was the junk pile. Uh, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is three. Okay. What did Luke Skywalker lose in his battle with Darth Vader? His left hand, his left foot, which would have been funny. I want to see that. His right hand or his right leg. I want to see the right leg being taken off. <laughs> left hand or right hand? Since we told you it wasn't a foot or a leg. I don't think so. Way to ruin that question, Jason. (laughs) Use it. Your dad is helping. Your dad is helping. Right hand? Right hand it is. (laughs) Right hand it is. Okay. What did Yoda tell Obi-Wan he felt in Luke Skywalker? Much fear? Oh, Jim, would you like to read that in Yoda's voice? No. Okay. No (laughs) commitment. Not practiced. Much anger. Or daydreaming. Much anger, daydreaming, much fear, or no commitment in Luke Skywalker. I fear much daydreaming. No, that's not. not. (laughs) Anger? Fear or no commitment? No commitment. Much anger. You're going much anger? Yes. You are correct. That is five. Well done. You do not get to pick from the Nicholas Cage bag. You get to pick from here, the back. Let me show you what we got. Uh, uh, would you like, uh, let's see here. 
Bodie, Rook, uh, Finn. These are the Star Wars Elite ones. We do have an uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Infinity character. Uh, and we do have Darth Maul. Then it is. And there you go, sir. Congra you're only the third person to get five right. Congratulations, sir. Okay, we are here with Noah, who's going to try to do some trivia here. And uh, you got to win three, get three out of five correct to get something. Otherwise, you get coasters. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you lose, you can get a map. Or a map of Pandora, Avatar Land. I don't know what it's called. Oh, whatever. We'll probably give you that anyways. Ape Hands Doug, we're doing Disney trivia finally. All right. First person. You get five out of five, you get something from the back row here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Which of these Disney animated features... Chase, hold the book back. Sorry. He's reading over you. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to look away from it. Yeah. So because I'm trying not to cheat. <laughs> Which of these Star Wars characters cannot be seen in the ride Star Tours at Disney? I'll give you some uh, options. Cannot be seen. Admiral Akbar, R2-D2, a Jawa, or C-3PO. And you can reach out to friends if you want. I believe it's a job. You are correct. Yes. That was right off the bat. One. Okay. Okay. That was a good one. Uh, let's see here. Um, in Muppet Vision 3D, Waldo says, they'll never recognize me now. He then transforms himself into which character? Mickey Mouse. Not even a, not <laughs> even, not even a hesitation. This guy knows I, I laughed really hard at that. I was <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wow. Doug, are you impressed? Mm -hmm. I am. I, I would be too. Doug's a resident uh, Disney person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm right there with you, man. Okay. Mickey Mouse's country house has how many rooms? Three, four, five, and six. Or six. It's a tough one. I'm gonna say four. You're correct. Oh, <laughs> that was a guess. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Which of these famous characters, we'll leave that up to you, is not one of Mickey Mouse's pen pals? Peter Pan, Buzz Lightyear, Wendy, or Aladdin? I'm gonna say Wendy. Oh, it is Aladdin. Oh. It's not over. You can still go for four out of five. It doesn't get you anything special, but bragging rights. Yeah. Let's see here. I got zero out of five. So don't be. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get it right. What is the destination of each trip taken on Star Tours? Hoth, Tatooine, the Death Star, or the Moon of Endor? The final destination on each trip. I believe the final destination is Endor. You are correct. Yes. That is good. That was a good job. Well done. Well done. Doug, are you impressed? Yeah. Good job. So you get the Nicolas Cage. <laughs> no one wants Disney questions. <laughs> I, I love Disney. It's great. Yeah. Okay, now, there is no bees in here, so be careful. There's many different things. Uh, what do you got? Um, Halloween H2O. Oh, oh, hold on, let me, let me take the stick off the back there. There we go. <laughs> is it open so he has to keep it? It is open. It is open. There you go, sir. Yeah, I uh, recently heard uh, Jamie Lee's actually coming back for a new she one is. next She's year. Yes, she is. Halloween's my favorite horror series. And I'm with LL Cool J. Yeah. I, that is very underrated. I just want to let you know yeah, that. Yeah, this one was pretty good. What did, See? Think, what did you think of Resurrection with Buster Rhymes? <laughs> Laughable. Is that the reality one? Yeah, I think so, like, yes. You know what? It was not good, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I shouldn't have, but it, I, uh, it was okay. So there you go, sir. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, back to back trivia here. Actually, back to back to back. Uh, we have Billy here. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Good day, mate. I'm six, I'm six years old, almost nine. You look big for your age. I have a good spit. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, you're doing Star Wars trivia. Okay. And uh, you get three out of five right, you get Nicolas Cage bag. Okay. Uh, not the bag itself, because that's a classic. I would love the bag. Oh, no, you wouldn't. It Why haunts not, your sir? dreams. It haunts your dreams. Are you sure? Oh, it does. My dreams are already sinister as they are. <laughs> you ready for 
Star Wars trivia? I got no doubt. How many fingers do Gans have on each hand? Two, three, four, or six? Anybody know what Gand is? What is it? How many fingers? I don't know. What is a Gand? Whoever came up with these was obviously mental. I agree with you. You can reach out to anybody if anybody knows what a Gand is in Star Wars. Anybody? Does anybody know what a Gand is? Do you know what a Gand is? Well, the aliens. There you go. So you have a 25% shot. Well, of course, the bloody alien. Jason, you're allowed to skip. You don't have to say four. You are incorrect. Three. That's okay, though. There's many more questions. Bad days. Bad days. We all have them. To whom did Darth Vader make a point of stressing no disintegrations? Boba Fett, IG-88, Dangar, underrated. Bosk, very underrated. Who did he tell? Do not burn, basically. One second, please. No disintegration. Who was the second one you said? It was Boba Fett, IG-88, Dengar and Boss, because when he's talking to all the bounty ears. You are correct. That's one. That's one. Thank you, sir. Good job. Thank you. What did Darth Vader tell Admiral Pete? Piet. Thank you, Piet. That did not concern him. Uncharted Settlements? Admiral Azul? A clear transmission? Or asteroids? What did not uh, concern him? Asteroids. You're correct. That's two. Two out of three so far. Thank you, sir. You get one more, you get the, you get the Nicolas Cage bag present. I do love Nicolas Cage's chin. Who doesn't? I like his hair. His, his hair? The bloody hell are you looking at? <laughs> what, what, according to Yoda, was quicker, easier, more seductive? The dark side? Training as a Jedi in the Old Republic? The light side? Or Tara Reid? It's a tough call. It's a tough call. <laughs> she was in that, right? <laughs> she was in that. Tara <laughs> Reed. You are correct. It is. Good job. Good job. Good job. Is that a line for robot chicken? No. <laughs> it is not. We're not big Tara Reed fans around here. <laughs> she was also in Sharknado. That's why. Yeah. Four, five, she lost her head. <laughs> here we go. We got a big one here. What do we got? Oh, sorority boy. <laughs> you. you have class. Oh, good movie. <laughs> I can't wait to show this to my family. Guys, look what I got. I got sorority boys. It's only PG-13. It's oh, PG-13. God. You're fine. You're fine. Well, thank you, Billy, for playing. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> Okay, I'm here with Jeremy. We got another uh, quiz trivia here. He's going to Disney, but you also have a YouTube channel, right? I do have a YouTube channel. What is that? It's Stricken Baseball Series. Look us up. We got about uh, four games up there now. We're looking to get about ten before winter comes around and it gets too cold to play. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. And he's going to be the only second person to do Disney trivia. <laughs> My wife's helping me too. So That's let, fine. Let me put that in there. So. Like in life. <laughs> <laughs> what science fiction writer collaborated on Spaceship Earth? I'll give you options. All right. Isaac Asimov, Carl Sagan, Gene Roddenberry, or Ray Bradbury? First one's the only one I've ever heard of. I uh, heard of B and D. Um, what year was this made? Seven. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to no, go with me. Spaceship Earth is the ride yes. at Epcot Center, isn't it? That okay. is correct. Yeah. So they're doing the uh, plot of it, Yeah. is what so, I'm guessing. So, that's, so which one are you going with? I'm going to go with B. Carl Sagan? Sagan? It is actually Ray Bradbury. Oh, man, that was the other one. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. We got that. Uh, let's see here. What was the name of the dog in Horizons? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. The name of the dog in Horizon. Okay, nobody knows that, so we're going on. Is that a ride? It's all right. Wow. Here we go. Who is your navigator on Star Tours? It's a Star Wars one. It's a R5-D4, R2-D2, C-3PO, or Rex. I don't think Rex is in there. First one. Number one. A. You sure you want to go number one? Who's the one that doesn't speak and beeps? <laughs> You're wrong too. You guys are all <laughs> awful down there. Go with B. Go with B. C three PO. It's actually R two D two. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, no, are are these, all, these are all. The, all 
no, no, actually about questions about movies. It's about, movies. The, show, it's about, about the, the park. park. Okay. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Here, we'll do it on. Wallace Shawn is at the expo. Yes, he is. I saw him. Okay, what character does he play in the Toy Stories? Uh, the pig. No, he's not the pig. The, the, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, the T-Rex. I kind of like your motions when you were trying to do the rex. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's is? a T-Rex. There you go. There's one. There's one. The big head and little arms. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's a Disney question. What movie was that from? What? <laughs> Great Big Cam, Little Arms. What movie is that from? Meet the Robinson. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> and finally, in The Little Mermaid, who is not one of Triton's daughters? Right. Andrina. How do you say it? Andrea? Adrina. Andrina. Adora. Atina. And Alana. It's a lot of A's. Alana. No, wait. No, Alana please. is the... No. You're saying something else. What are you saying? Andrina, Adora, Atina, or Alana? First one was Alana, but yeah. And the second one. Number two. Andorra. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, the Nicolas Cage creepy bag. Let's see what we got in here. It's not all movies. A lot, but not all. Let's see what you got. Oh His God. eyes will hypnotize you. It's very creepy. Yes. Where do you get something like that? Uh, we don't know. It was a gift. Oh, my. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put my hand in there. There's bees in there. Uh, bees! Uh, <laughs> and faces. Oh, Make I a think, good movie. I think Make... I got a movie. Oh! oh hell yeah! Hey, that's awesome. There you go. Oh, that's a winner. Yeah. Strike back. That's awesome. That's the special edition, isn't right. it? Yes. I appreciate that. So there you go. Okay, we're back. That was a lot of trivia. I'm impressed that we've, trivia. I'm impressed that we've only had three people win the big prizes. Well, with a crappy Disney World book trivia question. Well, you know what? It's won the Disney big World. World. No, it won the big prize. Got one wrong, didn't he? Yeah, he did get one wrong. This is volume two. And this was made in, um, I don't know what year. I'm trying to figure out, see if it's even up to date. Nah, I don't even know. Anyways, uh, 2006. 2006. Oh. Maybe that's the reason. Yeah, this ride's already closed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not universal. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, D- uh, Jim, I got one more question we've been asking everybody. Who, who would you, if you had money was no object, who would you cosplay as? Money, no object. Who would I cosplay as? Hmm. Harley Quinn? I would not do Harley Quinn. I probably would stay as a male. Okay. Um, Sorority boys? (laughs) No, I think they walked by earlier, though. They did. They did walk by. I would probably do Megatron. Oh, Megatron. We didn't even think of that one. <laughs> Megatron. Megatron. Yes. You're completely covered. <laughs> and and, if and he I does can turn it, into a gun. If he does it right, he, like, <laughs> turns around and then shoots, you know. Can, he makes the noise sound effect and goes, ah, 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 and he looks like a gun and goes, ah, 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 and looks like a robot. That's awful. That's awful. Yeah. But money is no object, so you, yeah, can, you have a costume designed that actually transforms. I like Dev's answer last episode, the Death Star. Well, that's a pretty good one. Which planet are you blowing up? If you get to choose. I'm thinking Jupiter. That's a waste. <laughs> <laughs> I think you blow up Jupiter and you'll throw our entire solar system out of It's a of fucking whack. ball of gas. Make a decision. Be solid. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm going to be, a liquid or a solid. I'll just be gas. I didn't know we were blowing up real planets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another planet, maybe Middle Earth. Is that planet? What planet is that on? I, you know, it's not... Is it on the back of a turtle or an elephant? What is that show? No, that's a Discworld. Yeah. Oh. And we're not blowing up Discworld. Oh, I'm blowing up Discworld. You're not blowing up Discworld. I'm sorry, I'm blowing it so, up. So, now I'm going to have to blow up your Death Star. <laughs> That's why I got Planet as a Death Star. It's all it's all original. You've never seen it before. Yeah, Planet Killer Base? Yeah, is that what it was? <laughs> Star Killer Base? Star Killer Base? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. News of the Geek here. Well, I just wanted one thing about cosplays here. There is a guy walking around as Deadpool. 
with free hugs, a scientist free hug. If you do that in public on every, on an everyday thing, you'll probably go to jail. He's going to touch all these kids. <laughs> you know, I've seen videos on YouTube about someone who had a sign that said free hugs as a social experiment to see who... And a lot of people give him hugs. I have an issue with germs. Do they, first off, does he have socks and shoes on? He, he has socks and shoes okay. on. He was Deadpool, not what, Wolverine. What if he had his own but his bottle Purell? Ooh. To help. That's a tough call. I don't know. What, what if he let you use a body condom? <laughs> this is naked gun? <laughs> The seven people out there got that one. <laughs> I think more than seven yeah. people have seen Naked Dog. Come on. Oh, good times. Okay, so News of the Geek, per deadline, Seth MacFarlane's new one-hour dramedary? Dr- dramedy. Is it a dramedy? It's well, not, it's a, not dramedy. a dramedary. It's, it's not a camel. <laughs> <laughs> the new one-hour camel, the Orville, <laughs> is less comedy and more Star Trek, which is not something TV critics expect it. Set four centuries from now, the Orville follows the adventures in the final frontier of the USS Orville, as its human and alien crew tracks the battles, politics, and workplace drama of galactic travel. Ah, uh, let's see here. At the start of the TCA, Fox's Day at the TCA, the Critics Association, or critics bluntly asked Fox TV Group Chairman and CEO Dana Walden if she's worried they'll be sued. Short answer, nope. But they tiptoed around the question in the presence of Seth MacFarlane, the Orville cast and crew. Basically, uh, they said they're worried about uh, being sued because it's too much like Star Trek. You know, really? This is what we're at? And they said that there is concern that Star- the CBS or whatever it is. Oh, CBS is doing their new Star Trek series out there. Yeah. But, and- but Star Trek didn't have a problem stealing Babylon 5 and turning it into Deep Space Nine. Yeah, I mean, if, if the one thing is, uh, he said, the one critic said, the show does not feel like today's science fiction. Heaven no. And uh, wondering why he made a show that feels looks and feels like the 90s. Seth MacFarlane says, because I miss the optimism. I'm tired of being told everything is going to be grim and dystopian. I miss the hopeful side of science fiction. Good for him. I like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, EP da- uh, David uh, Goodman took a uh, executive producer David Goodman took a question as to whether there's room for the Orville and Star Trek Discovery no there's only one room for a spaceship on TV uh, I think there's room for two spaceship shows noting there's more than one cop show thank you not hospital shows we only can have one hospital show well, Chicago I remember, Hope yeah I remember back in the day when we had two hospital shows set in Chicago what was that Chicago Hope and what ER Oh, ER was said. They both started like the same year, and it's like hospital in Chicago, and it's like, wow. And Chicago Hope was superior to ER. I still go back to the old joke. I forget who, what talk show host said it. ER uh, members got raises of a million dollars, and Chicago Hope got a new Pepsi machine. <laughs> oh, my God, who is this guy walking up to the table right now? I'm here for my trivia. I was going to ask trivia. It's oh, God. Scab Jeff. It's Blank. <laughs> Scam Jeff, welcome. Thank you. Blake, would you like to say hi? Ask him about the llama. No, 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 don't. The llama, huh? Well, so Jeff, what about the llama? Okay, so I went to the restroom and I was on my way back and there was this... Am I on? Yeah, I'm on. Okay. <laughs> so, and there was this little girl who was crying to her dad that she really wanted this llama at this toy, at this toy vendor, and she was really upset. And the dad was like, "No, that's stupid. Don't. I know. I'm not sure exactly what he said. So, but he was, no, we can't get that. So, I bought the llama. Did you really? And I have it. <laughs> And it was the last one. <laughs> Did you really buy the llama from the little kid? Okay, you thought this story had a happy ending, yeah, didn't you? you son of a bitch. <laughs> you bought and hoarded the llama. <laughs> Did I did a good deed for the dad. Now the dad... Yeah, now, the, now, now the dad has no argument, but, well, you can't get it now. It's not there. <laughs> you saved the day by being a jerk. <laughs> no, I wasn't a jerk. I bought the llama. Wow. So, what do you plan on doing with your new llama? Well, it looks like the llama from Minecraft, so I'm going to give it to my kid. Oh, okay. So, oh, so, you are saving the day. You're getting your kid a Minecraft llama. Okay. But she really wanted the llama. <laughs> We're going to do something different on trivia. Scamp Jeff wants to go. I got you some trivia. As long as it's not wrestling. It's not wrestling. It's movies. It's llama okay. lamp. Do you have a timer? Oh. Uh, 
Well, I suppose I could. On your phone. Oh. Yeah, what are we doing here? Uh, 60 seconds. Oh, okay. Let me pull up my timer here. I have it somewhere. Clock. Yeah. No one else one got a timer, you know. This is different. You ready? One minute. Ready? You need to... Na- well, let me do when the you're done, when, when you're yep. done reading, I will hit the timer. You have... You have uh, 60 seconds to name five Michael J. Fox films. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go. Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3, Teen so- Wolf 1 and 2. <laughs> He's not in Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> he was not in Teen Wolf 2. You better oh. keep going. Uh, you better keep going. Uh, Son of a bitch, forgot about Back to the Future. Uh, uh, now I'm, I told you that earlier. <laughs> you better hurry. You have the timer. How did you not know anymore? <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Oh! Uh, 30 seconds. One more Michael J. Fox film. That's it. I did. I did. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's no lifelines. <laughs> Uh, he's thinking hard. How many seconds? 14 seconds. You don't know? Go, Joe. Hell, Cobra. <laughs> you got five. You better hurry. Five, four, oh my. three, two, oh God. one. <laughs> <laughs> you could have named one Michael J. Fox in 55 seconds. Secret of my success. Doc Hollywood, Stuart Doc Lodl, Damn Casualties of War, The Frighteners, The oh Frighteners. Oh, my God, Peter Jackson film. The Love of Money, The Hard Way. Yeah, Peter Jackson film, less than three hours. Uh, Greedy. Uh, let's see here. The Light of Day. The American President. Uh, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Oh, we Stuart Little. T- you could have done Stuart Little, too. I could have done Stuart Little, one and two. You're a movie expert. Hang your head in shame. <laughs> God. All right. So well, I got three, time. though. What's that? I got three. I get... Now you had to get the whole thing right. No, I get Nicolas Cage no, after three, that's right? That's question one. You got to do it to okay. be successful. Okay, so times. I got four more questions. Yes. Okay. Oh, you got any more questions? Oh, oh, I thought you had a list of... Michael J. Fox was the only one you thought of, because that was the example Okay, I got you one. Gave. You ready? Here yes. we go. We talked about this last episode. Name three... Movie starring Mary Stuart Masterson. <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh, God. Can you give me a clue who she is? She's an actress. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? F- F- Robin Hood. That's Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio. That's the other one. Uh, <laughs> keep trying. Anybody else? Mary Stuart Masterson. One of them's based on Bon Jovi song. How about some kind of wonderful? Oh, uh, <laughs> the, the Dead or Alive, uh, uh, Young Guns. <laughs> he just gave you an answer. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I never pay attention to Jim. <laughs> Are you struggling? Okay, how many did, uh, we got time. Ten, Ten seconds. Some kind of wonderful. Some kind of wonderful. Yeah, Five, yeah, yeah. Four. Yes. Three. Three seconds. Two. Bad girl. One. Bad yes. girls. Yes. Bad of roses. Bad. Chances are bad girls. <laughs> you got two out of three. At close range, cake eaters. Fried green tomatoes. Oh yeah, fried green tomatoes. Benny and Ju- Benny and June. I don't know who she is. If you show me a picture, I probably could have named three movies. Have you she seen Benny and June? I've seen Benny She's and June. She's a girl. <laughs> I can't picture it. Okay, I'll give you an easier one. I'll give you an easier one. Outside of the Pirates of the Caribbean, name me five Johnny Depp films. Go. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. Yes. Correct. Um, one. Uh, Edward Scissorhands. Two. Um, the Lone Ranger. Yep. Well, unfortunately, yes. We got three. Um, you better. Uh, the Alice in Wonderland. Yep. Yes. Oh, God. You better hurry. Alice in Wonderland 2. I give it's, it to you. Uh, what's the title of it? Oh, yeah. Through the seconds. Walking Glass. Okay. There you go. Sweeney Todd was another one, too. Dark Shadows. So you've got one. 
Okay. Right, you want to go next? Yeah, you do. Okay, we got two okay, questions Mac. left. Two okay. questions back. Left until the Nicholas Cage. Okay, you ready? Yes. Well, you should do Nicholas Cage. This is one of the questions. <laughs> do it. That's too easy. Right now. No Nick Cage. Seven Nick Cage movies. There you go. One minute. Go. <laughs> uh, face Off. Con Air. Uh, rock. Raising Arizona. Uh, the leaving Las Vegas. Yep. Now it gets difficult. Come on. Uh, Think of the, some good ones now. <laughs> there aren't any. Except Raising Arizona. <laughs> That's rock. it. <laughs> the rock. Uh, Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Gone in 60 seconds. That's five. One more. One more. What's the other one that's like God in 60 seconds that he was in? <laughs> Are you talking about National Treasure kind of stuff? National, <laughs> National Treasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. You ready? Is this the, I need this Final one. one. You, this is it. If you don't get it, it's all gone. You don't get anything. Oh. Hold on, let me get it. Movie Steven Spielberg has directed or produced. Or even go produced. Or produced. Wow, that's easy. Or produced? No, yeah. fuck it. We're doing. No, 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 no. We're doing a uh, direct. Directed. Yeah. Directed. Yeah. Ready? And go. Schindler's List. Great film. <laughs> uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, the Temple of Doom. Uh, he did not do Temple of Doom. He directed. Really? Didn't he? Oh, he did. No, it doesn't say. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> uh, the. Uh, Jaws. Uh, there you go. Uh, Lincoln. Yep. One more. Uh, the why? why am I Just came out in 2015. Uh, why am I blanking on Steve? There's a creepy Spielberg. kids movie that came out last year. How many seconds? 20 seconds. Uh, Jurassic Park. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we would have accepted the BFG, Adventures uh-huh. of Tintin, Catch Me If You Can, Munich. Bridge of Spies, I, I should have known Color Purple, uh, E.T. <laughs> E.T. Uh, <laughs> Post Encounters of the Third Kind. <laughs> well done. Here we go. Here is, after much, much sadness. I hope he gets the bees. <laughs> get the creepy. There is bees in there, so be careful. What are you going to get? What are you getting? Oh, I grabbed two. Oh! Oh, oh I grabbed two. That's, good. that's the second best of them? <laughs> <laughs> I'd give the second best of them. Maybe the third? I don't know. What's the name of that movie? I mean two. <laughs> Thank you, Scam Jeff. <laughs> okay, we're here with Ed. He's going to do the trivia. Hopefully much better than Scab Jeff. I got I got a Nicholas Cage prize. Anything you want to promote? Talk about yourself with? Uh, yeah, my name's Ed Benson. Uh, I deliver beer for a living. Awesome. You already win. win. <laughs> you automatically get one right for that. <laughs> I automatically get one right. All right. Delivered beer. I'll I take it. Anybody who delivers beer is a uh, gets. Yeah. He's hey, a saint. I provide a service, bringing the cheer and the spirit. <laughs> you ready? You got 60 seconds. All right. You ready? And you gonna have outside help. You ready? ready Name five movies with Robin Williams in it. Five movies with Robin Williams? Yes. Uh, Let's see. Dead Poet Society. Good call. Uh, Big. No, that wasn't. Nope, that was Tom Hanks. Yeah, that was. Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember the one where he ages really fast. Yeah, Good Will Hunting. Good Will Hunting, that's two. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. Hatch Adams. Hatch Adams. Uh, uh, (laughs) Vietnam. That was that one called. Cars, cars. Oh, Vietnam. Okay. Good morning, Vietnam. There you go. That's five. <laughs> Nobody cares about your crappy movies, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra, take him out. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. You're a, you're a Muppet fan? I like Muppets. Okay. Name me three Muppet movies. Muppet movies? Uh, the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the title of one of the Muppet movies. Uh, what was the other ones? Uh oh. Treasure Island. There you go, Treasure Island. 
Christmas Carol. <laughs> you got it, Christmas, Christmas Carol. Is it the Muppet movie? Yeah. The Muppet takes Manhattan. Uh, <laughs> oh, great Muppet yeah, Muppet 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 I think you're just trying to redeem yourself, okay? Sit yeah. down there. You can, you, think when, you can think when it's not your turn. I gotta, I gotta... It's the pressure thing. <laughs> okay. Here we go. One more. We're going to, uh... Ready? 60 seconds? Yep, ready. Okay. Five... Tom Hanks movies. Go. Tom Hanks? Yes. Terminal. Uh, uh, Lost. 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 Big. Big. Lost. 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 I don't even know what he said. <laughs> Nobody does. Solly. Solly. <laughs> um, uh, why can I not think right now? Because you're on the Crazy. spot. You got one more, and you can win a bat. He's on an island all by himself right now. Like on the island. He's on an island all by himself. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember the name. What did he say? Castaway. Castaway. <laughs> there you go. It was, it was like the most drawn out boring movie ever in my life. That was the Terminal! <laughs> Two hours ago. Hey, hey, Terminal was a good story. I liked that one. Have you seen Peter Jackson movies? Because they're long and drawn yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, what do we get? We got the Nicolas Cage creepy bag. All right. Don't look in his eyes. Just bees. Yeah, that is, uh, that is there's good. many bees in there. Oh, there's Let's many bees in here. Okay. Be careful. You got a good one. There's, there's spiders in here? That's that's the problem. Right, we we got... Oh, Daredevil! I actually do not have this one yet. On purpose or... Okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie. On purpose. You know what? For beer, there you go. There's your koozie, awesome. too. Awesome. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm with Michael here. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. You want to do your trivia, and we're doing top, uh, in 60 seconds, name five, 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 five. Kiefer Sutherland movies. Kiefer and Sutherland. go. Okay, so we would have uh, Lost Boys. No. Um, Good choice. And there would be, uh, <laughs> um, I can't think of one with all the kids. All right, pass on that one. Um... Drawing a blank now. Not 24. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what keeps coming up, but I can't do it. The um, remake coming out. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the remake that comes out next week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stumped with something. Flatliners. Flatline. <laughs> Flatliners too. Flatliners too. I have a bottle. What was the one with the kids where they all went looking for the dead body? Oh. Uh, what are you gonna stand by? Stand by me. <laughs> there you go. There's three. That's three. Um, we were accepted the land before time 10. <laughs> okay, that one. There we go. That's cool work. <laughs> That'll work. Um, How many seconds, Jeff? Seven. Was he in uh, Animal House? Nope. No, that was Kevin no, Bacon. No, that was Kevin Bacon. And Donald Sutherland. Um, oh, and, uh, and that's it. That's we're going to give him Animal Sutherland. House because that was Donald Sutherland. So I'll give it Sutherland. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll give it was 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 We were accepted Mirrors. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know that one. Zoolander saw that either. The Wild, uh, Sentinel, a lot of other crap he's in. I don't think I like him. Read the, read the good ones. You know, a few good men. I like a lot of his movies. A few good men, there you yeah. go. A few, and uh, that was a, no, I forgot the one I just had in my mind. <laughs> A game booth. He was in phone booth. Oh, oh okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Name me, this is an easy one. Okay. One Weird Al Yankovic song. Uh, song? Fat. There you go. Only one? He, okay, can name me two. Uh, uh, like, a, like a surgeon. There you go. He's good. He's good. <laughs> okay, last one. Well, if you get this. What's up with these softball questions? <laughs> we like him. <laughs> We like his shirt. We know his way back. He's a Hawaiian guy. Yeah. Pretty easy going. <laughs> okay, here we go. Name me all right, uh, five, 60 seconds, Ben Affleck movies. Ooh. Okay, The Accountant. Yep. Dogma. Mm -hmm. um, Good Will Hunting. Yep. Um, <laughs> what? Ball <laughs> rats. <laughs> There's a really crappy film that came out last year about superheroes. Oh, uh, Batman vs. Superman. Yeah! 
You should never write a white that right out. Right. You're giving him one if you would have said that Batman versus Superman was crappy. <laughs> he should have won anything for saying Batman vs Superman, but we feel bad. <laughs> Why don't you win? Where's the Where's the Nicholas Cage oh. creepy bag? Oh, that's creepy nice. <laughs> <laughs> don't that look in the eyes. Me. Don't look in the eyes. I don't got any dead. I'm blinded. What we got? Hey, oh, Devil's Advocate. Devil's Advocate. Not too bad. There's lots of nudity in it. Yeah, there you go. Something <laughs> worth watching. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen. There you go. There's that. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Take care. And you know who's joining us now after the trivia break? Blake. Hello. Version 2. Hello, Vicar. Welcome to the show. Good day, mate. I, I uh, yeah, you know, I'm having fun. Good. I, yeah, I met uh, Big Dev and the 365 Flex podcast guys. So they can verify you are real? So they can verify that, uh, yes, correct. I am no longer a snuffleupagus. I, I, I like how we get a view of them, and it's kind of like a green room. I feel like that we have our own green room because you have the 365, yeah. Dev, and Scab Jeff. When they're done with our show, they just go over there to drink. Yeah, no, they're, they're still at the same uh, beer drinking table that they were at two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, you know, 365 is okay because they'll be here tomorrow, too. Well, they're definitely here today. Well, the 365 flicks, I understand that because they're British and that's what yeah. they do. Yes. You know, Big Dad, that's a long drive home. To, you know, I, I don't know what he's going to do. He's saying the night. He's oh, saying good. the night, yes. yes. He's been uh, leaving early in the morning? Yeah. He's cuddling with Jeff tonight. So. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that was a good time. Uh, let's see here. So Blake's here. Yes. I'm uh, having fun. It's a good time. My first observance is if you're going to be uh, cosplaying as Spider-Man, you probably should be wearing underwear. A cod piece. It's a good call. It's a good call. <laughs> There's nothing more freaky than... Anyways, let's continue. Uh, I just got a new breaking news. I got a message from number one fan Doug. They have Masters of the Universe Classics Fisto for $150. Holy moly. Well, if you didn't break your Fisto... No, this is a redesigned one. A redesigned one? is That's not worth $150. It's a new one. It's not wearing a Cleveland Browns koozie, so he's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if I could trade him for this one. Actually, that's what you should do. You should, like, uh, videotape it and try and see if you can trade <laughs> Fisto and the <laughs> Cleveland Browns koozie for that one. Uh, he's right next to Triclops. Why is he named Triclops? Because he has a loincloth and three eyes. One eye in the front, and you just turn it. You turn his head. Sounds great. Yay. Yeah, see? Look at that. So, uh, Blake, Christmas gift for me. I want a new Fisto. You okay. broke mine. Sure. <laughs> you broke it. Like you've broken me, oh, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> that sounds personal? Yes. Mentally. You know, the sad, the sad part is I don't remember breaking Mr. Fisto. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you did. <laughs> I think Jason was the one playing with it when it So you probably could have gotten away with it. I'd be like, damn, I feel guilty. <laughs> you should. Now go spend $150. <laughs> Try to explain that to your wife. True. So there's Ant-Man walking by. That's a good Ant-Man. Good job. Look at yeah, that. Ant-Man. Lots of good cosplay There's uh, a lot here of today. good cosplay. Having a lot of fun. It's very good. I, I like people that go all out in their outfits and they're having a good time. Yeah. Oh, there's a Spider-Man with an Ant-Man. Look at that. That, that 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 still no cod piece. Still no cod piece. <laughs> still still no cod piece. piece. Since we're discussing, we'll have to ask Blake the question we've been asking everybody. Yep. Okay. Uh, Money not an issue. Money not an issue. What would you cosplay as? Uh, well, let me see. If it were Gen Con and more RPG kind of stuff. Go for it. I would probably go something something more along the right lines of a RPG or something. Maybe like Stern Brightblade or something goofy like that. Uh, from, from the uh, Dragonlance Chronicles? Yeah, from the Dragonlance uh, Chronicles. It, it'd be one thing to dress up as a knight, but you got to get the long, flowy mustache kind of thing. I mean, you got to go all in for that kind of stuff. Well, certainly. And money's not an issue, so you can get the best mustache available. Exactly. I'd buy the best mustache available. Is this from Discworld? I'm a little confused. No. That was, no. Oh. Dragonlance. What's Dragonlance? It's a series of books. No. Yes, it would be. Hello. It's uh, kind of like Dragon's Lair, right? Mm-hmm. Just like it. Okay. I kept moving to the right. It wouldn't let me. Because you didn't time it properly. Stupid Dragon's Lair. Uh, let's but, see. but if I came here, it would be uh, probably like a Spider-Man, but with a huge codpiece. <laughs> huge codpiece. Huge 
Huge, huge, God God. Be. huge tracts of land. I could see you being maybe a Robin Williams from Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah. I could see that. Well, especially because he's sitting there with the headphones on, yes. and looking just <laughs> like Robin Williams from Good Morning Vietnam. <laughs> Double pocket khaki shirt. Yeah, exactly. I actually, kind of have a Robin Williams look yeah. here. <laughs> or, or you know, I do uh, do a Deadpool because you know you wear that outfit and you can just start doing anything you want. And everybody like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. He's in character. <laughs> what? Co- uh, cosplayer do you think has been played out they've seen too much of uh, I don't know if I've seen too much of but Joker Joker's good one yeah Joker's a, yeah but the Joker's okay you you come to a comic expo you expect to see a Joker but I, will, a I thousand will, seven Jokers that's yeah. true well I've mean, only seen a handful but uh, I, I would probably say I'd, I'd be more concerned about what you come as than being too many one of like you know I have seen grown Pokemon guys and that kind of disturbs me Grand- <laughs> You don't think I would look good as a Pikachu? No. If I color my face, maybe the yellow? ball it comes in, the white and red ball. ball. Yes. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> poison ivy, right there. Could be lots of poison ivy, lots of uh, poison ivy's uh, wearing, carrying a sign that says vegetarians are murderers. And stop eating stop my babies. Eating my babies. <laughs> Is she, did she see mother? <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, let's see. Uh, finally, on News of the Geek, <laughs> back to this. Per deadline. Actually, you know what? We're going to switch this up because there was an article, a news thing. I was waiting for Blake Uh-oh. on this one. Oh, that's right. You wanted Blake. Oh, no. First off, uh, what do you think about the Juggalos uh, marching on Washington? Because they're. And, and you know, as a good publicity stunt, that's awesome. Okay. But does anybody expect to take them seriously? <laughs> <laughs> when can you not take ma- uh, clowns seriously? I would think it's like a, uh, you know, like a badge of honor of the FBI, you know, labels your group as an organized crime syndicate. But you would think that'd be great until all of a sudden you get in <laughs> trouble with the cops. Yeah. You, you have your, uh, uh, you lose your job or your kids because of it. So, yeah. Here we did that. Which one? We're going to uh, number nine, Deadline. Per Deadline, Uh-oh. Fox has set Drew Goddard to write and direct X-Force, the X-Men universe pick. That revolves around Deadpool and Cable leading a black ops force of down and dirty mutant warriors okay. who are more ruthless than the X-Men. Reynolds' Deadpool would be the centerpiece of X-Force. When Kinberg discussed the pu- uh, property, public- property publicly, he added Cable as a major component, and Josh Berlin is playing that character in Deadpool 2. Uh, let's see here. Aside from launching the Daredevil series for Netflix, Goddard wrote and wrote to direct The Martian, but stepped aside for Ridley Scott. He also wrote the script for Spider-Man's uh, villain spin-off, The Senator Six, until that film was scrapped. He's having a good time. Yes, he is. Uh, Fox is continuing to mine the X-Men universe with strong up-and-coming directors. The fault in the star in our stars, Helmer Josh Boone, completed the spin-off X-Men New Mutants for release April 13th. I didn't know that was coming out so soon. I didn't realize they had already filmed it. Uh, David Leach did Deadpool 2 for June 1st, and uh, X-Men Dark Phoenix gets released November 2nd. That's directed by uh, Kinberg. Kinberg. Yeah. Does anyone care? I you know. know. Does it have Torch Boy in it? No, it doesn't have Torch Boy. Uh, then I don't care. Jeff, do, why do you care about X-Force? Because I like the extended X-Men uh, universe. Maybe Fox is going to be able to do anything? Oh, uh, no. Probably not, because the X-Men movies of late have kind of fallen flat, but... I'm just, and I'm intrigued as to which iteration of X-Force they're going to do. Okay. Uh, I know Deadpool's going to be the star of everything from now on in the X-Men universe. Yeah, and if the right people are in charge, it could work. They did say that after X-Men Dark Phoenix, they were hoping to reboot the system, to reboot them again, the X-Men. X-Force and that would be fine, but not the X-Men. No. Oh, that's fine. I'm, I, I, am, oh, I am intrigued to see Josh Brolin as Cable. I think that is a pretty good casting. I do agree with you on that. Yeah, really I've been, good I've been waiting for him to do something good since the Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> You've been really disappointed, haven't you? <laughs> I've been waiting for him to do something good since before the Goonies. <laughs> All right, here's, here's my other um, cosplay observation. I guess if, if you go with the steampunk, yeah. I guess you just do whatever the hell you want. Pretty much, you're not and a specific character. You're not a specific character. So if you're just looking for something to throw together, I guess that would be an easy thing to do. Yes. Except all that cosplay. Except to do all that, it right, though. Yeah, but you can't just throw it together. Yeah, that's true. All that steampunk accessories you have to buy it could get pretty expensive. Oh, they can be. Especially if you've ever... I don't know if there's any booths here selling those, but at other conventions I've seen, and you're like, oh, 
wow, that much for this small bit? Uh huh, gets ridiculous. Uh, there is a leather outfit out there that's selling leather pieces for steampunk. All right. Five to that, you must be mad. <laughs> now, see, I could aggle. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take. Yeah, this is a great one. We got poison ivy holding a sign that says vegetarians and murderers, stop eating my babies. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's creative. We that like that. creative. I like creative and I like funny, and it's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, quick uh, box office news. Upcoming October. Uh, we don't know the out, the money because we're all filming these here. Uh, I'm going to say we're filming. We're not recording. Yeah, recording. Whatever. Blade Runner 2049 made 49 million opening week. Yay! He's making that up. My Little Unless Pony. Unless it's true, then you heard it here first. It. My Little Pony made 38 million. All right. Um, the Move Third. the Mountains. I don't know whatever it's called. No Against the Mountains. My, the Mountain Between Us. That made $7. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, it didn't. It did uh, much better than that. Upcoming How October... How dare you diss Idris Elba movies? I love Idris Elba, but I don't know what it but is. But I haven't heard of it, no. so I'm assuming it's bad. That's your bad attitude? Yes. Uh, upcoming October 13, 2017, The Foreigner. I know what that is. Uh, it's about some guy that's not from here. Good call. All right. Uh, Happy Death Day. Saw that uh, trailer on It. What is that? It's pretty much a like Groundhog Day type thing, but a horror movie version. Uh, where she dies every day and then wakes up the next morning. And does it star a millennial? I suppose. How old is she? Like teenager? Twenty? It's, it's like college. Uh, okay. In college. Uh, Marshall. I don't know if that's about the guy from uh, the How I Met Your Mother, or is that about the t- uh, football sh- t- uh, football it's team? It's about the. Uh, uh, it's about a cop. No, the uh, Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. Oh, Thurgood Marshall one. Okay, yes. <laughs> I, I thought it was about Brandon Marshall. <laughs> it could be about Marshall because they beat Xavier. Man, what a comeback that was! I was the only person watching that movie that uh, was upset that uh, Marshall won that football game. <laughs> I thought it was a uh, Eminem biography. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. I got one shot. One shot. <laughs> That's uh, not Eminem. That's and, <laughs> and Professor Marston and the Wonder Women. I have no idea what that is. Is it James Marston? Sure. <laughs> James Marston and the Wonder Women. Good for them. That is a horrible lineup that day, right? What? Third Good Marshall movie looks pretty good now that I know what it is. <laughs> I've seen ads for that one. That looks is it really good. Third Good Marshall? Yeah. yeah. No, oh, no, you're being no, funny. No, it's actually about no. Third Good Marshall. Oh. <laughs> uh, was it Sterling K. Brown? Yeah, and uh, Josh Gad. Yeah. Well, I stand corrected. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was not a joke. <laughs> uh, before we get out of here uh, for this episode, top five. I'm going to let Jim, or Jim do this one. Jim, do you have the top five most overrated wrestlers? Uh, I didn't really do, like, overrated wrestlers so much. I okay. did, like, sticks and gimmicks that are just overused overall in wrestling. That could work. Uh, and uh, I can go at like, number, number five. Okay. Is like the American Patriot, the American hero, uh, fighting the evil foreigners. Ken Patera, Hulk Hogan, uh-huh. the Patriot, the Patriot, okay. uh, even John Cena to uh, some. Yep. yep. Uh-huh. Where they're always fighting in the old days, you know, your Russians or your Iranians. Yes. Or your, okay. Your sheiks, uh, Iron Sheiks, and Nikolai Volkovs. All the way up until now, who's it? Ginger Mahal is yeah. the evil foreigner. Yeah. But you did not do well with his promos. So. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, what else you got? Number four. Number four. I'll take the boss versus all the other upstarts coming in, like Vince, Triple H. The authority figure. The authority figure, and uh, I own you. And uh, I'll give you that one. That is just overplayed in every... But it worked once. It worked once, so let's use and it a thousand it. times. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, especially now that they have, like, different people who <laughs> run... Different shows. Uh, this person run SmackDown, and then they are getting in arguments with the talent there. It's a little ridiculous. We got sure ridiculous. And number three, mm-hmm. the one group of just a few people who just come out and dominate the rest of the uh, league. Okay. Like, like you had DX, and then you have The Shield. Um, At least Shield had good wrestlers. DX had X Pac and Road Dog. <laughs> At least Road Dog had good mic skills. That's yeah. true. <laughs> then, honestly, you admit the highlight of every episode when Road Dog was on was when he came on and did the introduction for 
for the, the New Age Outlaws. I'll give you that. But it, and then Billy Gunn. And then, and then even so much the uh, NWO. and uh, It was good at the beginning. Yeah. And then when Vincent and Steve Nor- or Scott Norton are in it, you know you've hit the bottom. <laughs> oh. Are you agree, Blake? Yes. Okay, good. But you said Scott Norton? <laughs> Think yes. about the shield, though. It's like three guys. And... The rest of every, the rest of the crew couldn't take him down. Just these three guys just beat up everybody. Bring twenty people out from the back, even Scotty too hotty, and just bring them out and attack. <laughs> but they do ninja style attack. They probably. do it one at a time. Uh, so number two, uh-huh. all female wrestlers. <laughs> the entire thing is overplayed because all they do is come out in skimpy outfits. What's wrong with that? And they're not good wrestlers. What? So? I mean, except for one match where the one girl bent the girl over and beat her with her own foot. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Nia Jax, I'll give you. She she could kill anybody just by looking at them because she, her moves are so bad. But Jim, weren't you a fan of Beth Phoenix? I love Beth, the Glamazon. <laughs> Yeah, because she used to actually throw the other non-athletic uh, women around. And come on, I know you were a fan of the fabulous movie. Of course. Um, I mean, there was nobody more talented than that. <laughs> or anyone Except else. Except for Mae Young. <laughs> Bull she McCona. gave birth to a hand. I like Bull McConaughey. <laughs> Uh, who's your number one? My number one would be finishing moves that actually don't do a god darn thing. Like Look Hogan's at, leg drop. Looking at you, people's elbow. The people's elbow. The five knuckle shuffle. I'll give you the uh, attitude adjustment. It's a body slam. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not much higher. It's from the shoulder. I mean, come on. It's no crippler cross face. It's no suplex. <laughs> Super suplex. suplex. Yeah. It's like when the DDT used to be such a devastating move, yes. and now everybody does it nine or ten times in a match. And Randy Orton does it from a rope, and it still doesn't <laughs> pin them. Uh, I, I, what about... The problem I had with the superplex was the person he was pinning was never pinned, but his own shoulders were down. The perfect flex? Oh, the perfect flex. Yeah, perfect yeah. flex. The perfect flex. You, it's like, you're pinning yourself. Don't you mock Kurt Henning. Don't I'm you not ever. mocking him. I'm mocking his finishing move that... He was, to, he was supposed to win the 91 Royal Rumble, and Hulk Hogan said, no. Fucking God, God. And, and talking re- uh, wrestling, let's do a moment of silence for Bobby Heenan. Bobby Heenan. Bobby Heenan. That was not a breath. That's a moment. Because <laughs> he earned it. He earned it. Well, thanks, Jim, for coming on. Thanks for doing our top five. We've been lazy. We haven't done one all week. Uh, so, uh, all week. Well, you've yeah. been here for two days. You haven't done a top five yet? No, so, we're waiting for you. We turned uh, the Blake robot on. <laughs> we turned it on. We turned it on. We had, he was in rest mode during the wrestling talk. Yeah. You back up. Reboot. Reboot. Come on. You okay? I'm working it. Okay. All right. I think I think with us here, we, we, we've got a uh, plot line ready to go, don't we, Jay? Oh, you want to do a plot line? I think we can do a plot line here. Okay. Time to grab your balls of fury. It's plot lines with Jeff, Jason, and Blake and Jim. Yay! Whoa, plot lines. Plot lines is uh, where we take a uh, title of a movie somebody sends in and the year, and we try to figure out what it is about. We're doing Dog Tooth from 2009. Ooh, Dog Tooth. So, Jim, would you like to start this? We could all help each other, too. Okay, dog tooth. Mm-hmm. I would think that uh, people are, kids are digging in the backyard, mm-hmm. and they find this old tooth that comes from some prehistoric uh, canine. canine that is eventually brought back to life and kills people. Okay. I like it. I was thinking some sort of, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, werewolf movie. I'm thinking Dogtooth is a werewolf who's going around terrorizing and attacking people. I think- I'll say in a different country, Wales, a Welsh uh, okay. werewolf. I'm going to say it's about a kid that, coming of age story, uh, he's like seven. <laughs> And he had this one gnarly tooth in and his they, mouth. And they call him Dog Tooth. That's right. And, and he, he grew he up. Gets, he gets tortured mm-hmm. and uh, made fun of and bullied. 
and eventually he gets revenge on everybody that called him dog tooth. Blake's on the same page as me. That was my thing. I was, bad one. I was thinking instead of it, he gets made fun of and everything, and then he shows everybody wrong by coming like a professional surfer. Ooh. What would that name be? Dog tooth. No, I guess. <laughs> or what happens, everybody makes fun of him, but somebody falls down a well. And he's able to go run and get help. And they're like, Dog Tooth, what's that? And Jimmy fell down the well. He's like... <laughs> That's just Lassie. Oh, Lassie, sorry. Rin Tin Tin. So who was starring in your Dog Tooth? Uh, who was starring in our what, movie? Was it 2009? Yeah. You wanted Taylor Lautner? Uh, no. No. What's a, what's a, what's a young... Let's, let's make it one of the McCalkins. Yeah, you know, not not Macaulay Culkin, but his Kieran, other brother, Kiernan, Kiernan, Kier, Kiernan McCalkin. Put on Kiernan. He, he plays the older version of Dog Tooth that gets revenge on everybody. Yeah, Kiernan Culkin. I, I could yeah. I could see that. Would it be yours? Um, I, I need a Welsh actor. Yeah. So I'm thinking either Reese Ifans or possibly uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know about Ralph Fiennes? No, I'm talking about R- Reese Ifans. No. He was the kicker in your football. Oh, I got you. Replacement. Yeah. And he was the lizard. Or Ewan Rion, like, whose name I can't pronounce. Or how about Ian Coletti from uh, Reacher? Who that is. But I, there I, you I, go. Or, yeah, like I said, or I could go with, uh, uh, like, uh, crap, what's his name? Bolton. Ramsey Bolton. Okay. Jim, who you got? I'm going to go with the guy who, uh, the doctor who recreates the uh, the dog tooth uh, uh, ancient uh, uh Dinosaur would be uh, one of the show's favorite, Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh, Jonathan Lipnicki. He will kick you. <laughs> uh, let's see. It is 2009. Uh, controlling manipulative father, Christo Sturgio. Sturgio Lulu? Locks his three adult offspring in a state of perpetual childhood by keeping them prisoner within the family compound. The children are born to tears in spite of distractions like Christina, who's played by Anna Kalatstu, and employ their father, who makes regular visits to sexually service the son. Dear God in heaven. <laughs> Good pick, Jason. That's disturbing. Who picked that? I apologize for that. You <laughs> did? Yes. I like, I like our movies better. <laughs> yeah. The oldest daughter attempts to escape. I'm kind of scared. Oh, so it's like Kimmy. Oh, it's, Sch- gr- it's like Kimmy Schmidt. It's a Greek film. <laughs> yeah. I recognize that by the names of the actors. Maybe it's a uh, blast from the past, the dark years. <laughs> well, there you go. There's your plot lines. And uh, <laughs> the wonder years, the dark, <laughs> the dark Greek years. Uh, that is. Uh, I thought it sounded like a Romanian movie to me. Like a Serbian film. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that is episode 197. Our, our bad idea, yes. number 64, uh-huh. is the movie Dog Tooth. Yes, <laughs> yes, it should never be talked about again, ever, ever. Uh, Roger says goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. So some titles for this episode. I got one. What do you have? So I bought a llama. I I like that. I had llama hoarders. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Seth MacFarlane's camel. (laughs) And I'm blowing up your Death Star. I like any of those. I I think I'm done with yours. So So I bought a llama? So I bought a llama. Thank you, uh, Jeff Scab, Jeff, for being an ass. (laughs) 